Today we're going to be reading Goldilocks and the Three Dinosaurs as retold by Mo Willem. So if it's retold by him, it means he took a story and he remade it a little. He put his own little twist on it. So retold by Mo Willems. And what page is this? Good, this is the title page. Once upon a time, there were three dinosaurs. Papa Dinosaur, Mama Dinosaur, and some other dinosaur who happened to be visiting from Norway. One day, for no particular reason, the three dinosaurs made up their beds, positioned their chairs just so, and cooked three bowls of delicious chocolate pudding at varying temperatures. So far, who are our three characters in the story? Good, we have Papa Dinosaur, Mama Dinosaur, and a dinosaur visiting from Norway. Oh boy! said Papa Dinosaur in his loud, booming voice. It is finally time to leave and go to the, uh, someplace else. He he he, yes, continued Mama Dinosaur. I sure hope no innocent little succulent child happens by our unlocked home while we are, uh, someplace else. <laughs> then the other dinosaur made a loud noise that sounded like a big, evil laugh, but was probably just a polite Norwegian expression. So if he's from Norway or if he's Norwegian, he probably doesn't speak the same language. So that's why his words look a little different. The three dinosaurs went someplace else and were definitely not hiding in the woods waiting for an unsuspecting kid to come by. Sure enough, five minutes later, a poorly supervised little girl named Goldilocks came trapsing along. Just then, the forest boomed with what could have been a dinosaur yelling, Gotcha! But I'm pretty sure that was just the wind. The loud noise was immediately followed by another loud noise that sounded kind of like, Be patient, Papa Dinosaur. The trap is not yet sprung. But that could have been a rock falling or a squirrel. Either way, Goldilocks was not the type of little girl who listened to anyone or anything. For example, Goldilocks never listened to warnings about the dangers of barging into strange, enormous houses. So as soon as Goldilocks came across a strange, enormous house, she barged right in. Does that sound very safe? Mm -mm. Inside, Goldilocks immediately smelled the three bowls of delicious chocolate pudding. So who's our new character now? We have the three dinosaurs and we have Goldilocks. Mmm, said Goldilocks. That chocolate pudding smells delicious. If only I could get all the way up to the top of that counter. Then Goldilocks noticed a very tall ladder that just happened to be there and certainly wasn't left on purpose. Goldilocks climbed up the ladder and found herself face to face with three gigantic bowls of chocolate pudding. The first bowl of chocolate pudding was too hot. But Goldilocks ate it all anyways because, hey, it's chocolate pudding, right? The second bowl of chocolate pudding was too cold. But who cares about temperature when you've got a big bowl of chocolate pudding? Not her. 
The third bowl of chocolate pudding was just right, but Goldilocks was on such a roll by now, she hardly noticed. Soon Goldilocks was stuffed like one of those delicious chocolate filled chocolate filled little girl bonbons, which, by the way, are totally not the favorite things in the whole world for hungry dinosaurs. Tired and groggy, Goldilocks noticed three chairs in the living room. So she climbed down the ladder and walked out of the kitchen. The first chair was too tall. The second chair was too tall. But the third chair was too tall. Goldilocks wasn't going to climb that high just to sit in some chair, so she hiked over to the bedroom. When she got there, Goldilocks noticed that the beds were also gigantically big. What is going on around here? groaned the exhausted girl. The bears that live here must be nuts. Just then, the room filled with a loud, booming noise that was either a passing truck or a dinosaur gloating. A few more minutes and she'll be asleep. Delicious chocolate-filled little girl bonbons are yummier when they're rested. Even the little girl who never listens to anyone or anything had to hear that. Goldilocks took a minute to stop and think, which was longer than she was used to stopping and thinking. This says, home sweet dinosaur home. Hey, she told herself, this isn't some bear's house. This is some dinosaur's house. Say what you like about Goldilocks, but she was no fool. As quickly as she could, she ran to the back door and got out of there. Just then a loud plane flew by, which sounded pretty much like a trio of dinosaurs yelling, Now! Or, Charge! Or the no Norwegian expression for, Chewy Bon Bon Time! Suddenly and completely coincidentally, the three dinosaurs rushed through the front door, but they were too late. Goldilocks was gone, and all that was left in the house were three disappointed dinosaurs. The end. And the moral is... If you ever find yourself in the wrong story, leave, because Goldilocks belongs with the three bears. And the moral for the dinosaurs is, lock the back door. The end.